And case in the K? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so, first of all, their response to, uh, to our Trapper 93 card doesn't really answer this card. What the card is trying to say is that the way that they categorize what is evil um, and uh, how they um, blame others for the woman's powerlessness instead of learning to forget the injustices and start to see the best and the worst in life is a um, is, um, response one, and um, that they um, this is so bad because they're just recycling um, their um, anger and projecting it out onto others. And um, this actually engenders um, the, um, engen entrenches um, the women in the, the um, what they're trying to go against. And um, they also talk about how um, we're essentializing that feminism is for women, but I don't see how we're essentializing this. Um, we agree that feminism is for everyone, but we're seeing that the way that the app is going about it is wrong because they are resentful of the way that the women and the queer are oppressed, and um, that this is uh, not the right way. We should um, forget about the past um, inflictions on them and um, start from um, accepting that, um, learning to see that um, the women or the queer are no different than us, which is um, what we're trying to articulate here. And um, I'm going to finish reading the um, Tapper 93 card. Feminist philosophers Canada uh, catalog the absurdity sexist remarks made by female philosophers about women who rewrite the canon to reveal sex and bias, and even though sex and sense and nothing explicit about women, we now have a form of discourse in which it is enough to say that a text was written by a man to dismiss it when began as an attempt to reclaim female sexuality and bodily pleasure from what is the enunciation denial has transformed into radical rejection of sexual desire and pleasure as, as nothing but social and construct of male power. The question I want to raise about this is whether it might be motivated and thereby explained by the spirit of results among the number of features which are permanent here and uh, characterize the spirit versus an inability to let go to forget and cannot have done uh, with anything. Their claim to ideological purity and the sense of powerlessness by resorting to finding evil and injustice in wider, sort of wider circumstances and add deeper and more concealed levels. The issue is no longer just when uh, or just what men say and uh, about say about and do to women, but the very nature of language, discourse, and culture in society that the person motivated by the spirit of resolve and looks for evil needs to re-incriminate and redistribute blame to immune to wrongs, distribute responsibility and to find sinners as Nietzsche says they want to be evil in order to be able to consider themselves good. The man who self one feels the corresponding object as a personal offense and move from because he makes the object responsible for his own powerlessness. One is the need uh, to see the other as powerful and responsible for my powerlessness and then the transformation of this thought and the, into the thought that my paralysis is a proof of my goodness and that's the other's evil. This makes sense of two aspects of what offenders not first the need to see women as helpless victims as abuse misrepresented as powerless in the face of such onslaught of sexist patriarchal male power in every dimension of life and not second in the map frequently asserted claims of women's moral superiority that women are caring, nurturing, their relations not hierarchical and so on and seeing them ourselves as good it gives us a right to demand that others conform to our values. Um, so this is more about like how the um, way that the affirmative is trying to empower um, women and the queer is wrong because they're just re-entrenching them in this um, power, um, in this oppression that they're facing. Um, and also, okay, going on to the um, Nietzsche K, the part fails because of the Tapper card that was read in the 2NC. The way that they're trying to empower females in the queer require people to uh, try to make themselves appear more feminine so they don't get criticized for not supporting feminism and queerness. This in itself is against the norm and uh, what is natural because people are changing themselves to fit this framework to not be criticized. Um, so that is, um, so the term can't work. And also the, um, also, um, they're, um, they can't use responsibility against themselves. Responsibility, the, the definition of responsibility is securitizing yourself over others. It's a need to always securitize and resent the way that life is. They can't securitize against themselves. I, um, so they, I don't see how that um, perm would work. And they also talk about how alternative is vague, but affirming life isn't vague. We're saying that we should see the joy and suffering and um, the joy and suffering in life equally and to affirm our life in every and any and every instance of life. So um, uh, anything that happens to us, we should see this as something that is part of life and enjoy it instead of always uh, being resentful of what happens to us. And the alt solves for binaries. Um, uh, they talk about the alt doesn't solve, but the alt actually solves for their binaries better than the affirmative can because the affirmative uses response amount against the way that people view queers to empower them through modification. This is actually creating the entrenchment because it requires us to see women as helpless victims. The Haraway 91 card, they read it's also the reason why the alt is better because our case is about how we need to see 
the joy and suffering in all and uh, the joy and the suffering in all instances, not just through the modification of the body and imposing pain onto ourselves. So all, um, also ourselves for the oppression of women in prayer because they are um, the reason why the women in prayer are oppressed is due to results mod. We said this in the um, first cross acts. The people um, uh, see the queer and the women as the other. They um, as different than themselves, and they don't know what to do with this difference. They're scared of it, so they're trying to um, oppress them in order to securitize themselves above this. Once we um, uh, um, see that we uh, that there's a suf um, that suffering is inevitable and all the securitization isn't needed, then they'll stop being oppressed. And also, um, I guess their heroin part. Um, uh, we're not saying that um, it's either mod suffering or pleasure. Um, uh, we should. We're saying that we should embrace all forms of suffering and happiness, and that suffering is pleasurable. This should flow our way because. Um, there's a, our whole case is saying how there's joy and suffering, so this proves why our alt works and um, also the perm fail.